Hello there, this is Kim. Welcome to Portunate. Today is day 221, and we're getting into Jeremiah 7 through 9. So go with me to Jeremiah 7 through 9, and we're going to read through and praise you, Jesus. Thank you for giving us good words. We just read one, uh, 4 through Six and now we're going to read seven through nine and we just thank you for Jeremiah the prophet and the things that were happening here during this time but what good things that God brought through about not fearing yesterday and about being healed and speaking peace and how how you brought it around Lord and how our prayers mean a lot when we pray you know it goes to the throne of God and when we pray our hearts are sincere, our hearts are devoted to you. And we pray that we will have more prayer. We will pray more, pray longer, pray without ceasing, that more people will pray. And we just thank you, Lord, that that's what changes things. And we thank you for your word inside of our hearts that will not return void, but will accomplish what you've called. In Jesus' name, we pray, amen. Okay. All right, Jeremiah 7 says, this, this is Judah's sin of external religion. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, stand in the gate of the Lord's house and proclaim there this word and say, hear the word of the Lord and all ye of Judah that enter in these gates to worship the Lord. Thus says the Lord your host, the God of Israel, amend your ways and your doings and I will cause you to dwell in this place. Trust ye not in laying words, saying the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord are these. For if ye thoroughly amend your ways and your doings, if you thoroughly execute judgment between a man and his neighbor, if ye oppress not the stranger, the fatherless and the widow, and the shed, and shed not innocent blood in this pl place, neither walk after other gods to your hurt, then will I cause you to dwell in this place, in the land that I gave to your fathers forever and ever. Behold, ye shall trust in, ye trust in lying words that can't profit. Will ye steal, murder, or commit adultery, and swear falsely, and burn incense unto Baal, and walk after other gods whom you know not, and come and stand before me in this house? which is called by my name and says, we are delivered to do all these abominations. Is this house, which is called by my name, become a den of robbers in your eyes? Behold, even I have seen it, says the Lord. But go ye now unto my place, which was in Shiloh, where I set my name at first, and see what I did to it for the wickedness of my people Israel. And now... Because ye have done all these works, says the Lord, and I spoke unto you, rising up early and speaking to you, but ye heard not, and I called you, but ye did not answer. Therefore will I do unto this house, which is called by my name, wherein ye trust, and unto the place which I gave to you and your fathers, as I have done to Shiloh. And I will cast you out of my sight, as I have cast out all of your brethren, even the whole seed of Ephraim. Therefore pray not thou that this people neither lift up cry nor prayer for them, neither make intercession for them, for I will not hear thee. Seest thou not what they do in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? The children gather wood, and the fathers kindle the fire, and the woman knead their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings to the other gods that they may provoke me to anger. Do they provide me to anger, says the Lord? Do they not provoke themselves to the confusion of their own faces? Therefore thus says the Lord God, behold, mine anger and my fury shall be poured out upon this place, upon men and women, and upon beasts, upon the trees of the field, upon the fruit of the ground, and it shall burn, and it shall not be quenched. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, put your burnt offerings into your sacrifices, and eat flesh. For I spake not unto your fathers, nor commanded them in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt concerning burnt offerings or sacrifices. But this thing command I, 
them saying, Obey my voice, and I will be your God, and ye shall be my people. And walk ye in all my ways that I have commanded you, that I may, it may be well with you. So verse 23 is very good right there. If you want to highlight verse 23 of 8, 8.23. So we've already gone through 7. Let's see where 8 is. Oh, no, 7.33, 23. 7.23, but this thing command I them, saying, Obey my voice, and I... I will be well, it will be, and I will be your God, and ye will be my people, and walk in all the ways that I've commanded you, that it may be well with you. So all that's, that's in 723, that's what God is saying. But they hearken not, for incline their ear, but walk in the counsel and in the imagination of their evil heart, and went backward, and not forward. Since the day that your fathers came forth out of the land of Egypt to this day, I have sent unto you all my servants in prophecy, daily rising up early and sending them. Yet they hearkened not unto me, nor inclined their ear, but hardened their neck. They did not wor They did worse than their fathers. Therefore thus thou shalt speak all these words unto them, but they will not hearken to that, thee. Thou shalt also call upon them, but they will not answer thee. But thou shalt say unto them, This is a nation that obeys not the voice of the Lord their God, nor receives correction. Truth is, is perished and is cut off from their mouth. Cut off thine hair, O Jerusalem, and cast it away, and take up a lamentation on high places. For the Lord hath rejected and forsaken the generation of his wrath. For the children of Judah have done evil in my sight, says the Lord. They have set their abominations in the house, which is called by my name, to pollute it. And they have built the high places, Tophet, which is in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to burn their sons and their daughters in the fire, which I commanded them not. Neither came it into my heart. Therefore, behold, the day is come, says the Lord, that it shall no more be called Tophet, nor the valley of the son of Hinnom, but the valley of slaughter, for they shall bury Tophet, till there be no more place. And the carcasses of this people shall be meat for the fowls of the heaven, for the beasts of the earth, and none shall fray them away. Then will I cause to cease from the cities of Judah and from the streets of Jerusalem the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, for the land shall be desolate. Chapter 8. At that time, says the Lord, they shall bring out the bones of the kings of Judah and the bones of the princes and the bones of the priests and the bones of the prophets and the bones of the inhabitants of Jerusalem out of their graves. And they shall spread them before the sun, the moon, and all the host of heaven, whom they've loved and whom they served, and after whom they've walked and whom they saw, and whom they have worshipped. They shall not be gathered nor be buried, they shall be for dung upon the face of the earth, and death shall be chosen rather than life by all the residue of them that remain, of the evil family which remain in all the place, whither I have driven them, says the Lord of hosts. Moreover, thou shalt say unto them, Thus says the Lord, shall they fall and not arise? Shall he turn away and not return? Why then is this people of Jerusalem slidden back by a perpetual backsliding, they hold fast deceit, they refuse to return. I hearken and heard, but they spake not aright. No man repented him of his wickedness, saying, What have I done? Every one turned to his course at the horse as the horse rushes to the battle, yea, the stork in the heaven knows her appointed time, and the turtle and the crane and the swallow observe the time of their coming. And my people know not the judgment of the Lord. How do you say we are wise and the law of the Lord is with us? Lo, certainly in vain made he it. The pen of the scribes is in vain. The wise men are ashamed. They are dismayed and taken. Lo, they have rejected the word of the Lord and what wisdom is in them. Therefore will I give their wives unto others, their fields to them that shall inherit them. For every one from the least unto the greatest is given to covetousness from the prophet even unto the priest every one deals falsely 
for they have healed the hurt of the daughter of my people, slightly saying, Peace, peace, when there was no peace. Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Nay, they were not at all ashamed, neither would they blush. Therefore shall they fall among them that fall in the time of their visitation. They shall be cast down, says the Lord. I will surely consume them, says the Lord. There shall be no grapes on the vine or figs on the fig tree, and their leaf shall fade. And the things that I have given them shall pass away from them. Why do we sit still? Assemble yourselves and let us enter into the defined cities and let us be silent. For the Lord our God has put us to silence and given us water of gallop to drink because we have not sinned against the Lord. We looked for peace, but no good came. And for a time of health, and tr behold, there was trouble. The snorting of the horses was heard from Dan. The whole land trembled at the sound of the neighbor of his strong ones, for they were come, and they have destroyed the land and all that is in it, the city and those that dwell in it. For behold, I will send servants crock, cock tears among you, which will not be charmed, and they shall bite you, says the Lord, when I would comfort myself against sorrow, my heart is faint in me. Behold, the voice of the Lord, of the daughter of my people, because of them they dwell in a far country. Is it not the Lord of Zion? Is not he, her, the king of her? King of her? Why have you provoked me to anger with their graven image and strong vanity, strange vanity? To the, har the harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. For the heart of the daughter of my people am I hurt. I am backslidden, or back astonishment hath taken hold on me. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is it not the heathen of the daughter of my people recovered? Oh, that my head were waters, chapter 9, and mine eyes a fountain of tears, that I might weep day and night for the slain of the daughters of my people. Oh, that I had in the wilderness a lodging place of wayward men that I might leave my people and go from them for they will be adulterers an assembly of treacherous and they have bent their tongue they like their bow for the, the lilies they are not valiant for the truth upon the earth for they proceed from evil to evil and they know not me take heed every one of the neighbors and trust in brother not in any brother for every brother will in utterly support and every neighbor will walk will walk with slanders and they will deceive every one his neighbor and will not speak the truth they have taught their tongue to speak lies and weary themselves to commit iniquity their habitation is in the midst of deceit though deceit they refuse to know me says the lord the, therefore says the lord of hosts behold i will melt them and try them for how will i do for the daughter of my people their tongue is an arrow, not out, and speaketh deceit. One speaketh peaceably in his neighbor without his mouth, but inwardly he lays his weight. So praise the Lord. We're getting through Jeremiah. And um, the verse 22, 822, is there no balm of Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the heathen of the daughter of my people recovered? And then 15, we looked for peace, but no peace came, and for a time of health. And behold, trouble. And, chap and verse 11 of that same chapter 8. For they have healed and heard of the daughter of my people, slightly saying, peace, peace, when there was no peace. And then chapter 7. But this thing command I, saying, obey my voice, and I will lift your God, and you shall be my people, and walk in all the ways that I've commanded, and it will be well with you. So praise the Lord. We thank you that it will be well with us when we listen and we hearken to the voice of our God when we do what you show us to do when we give forth the tithe the offering when we give the time when we spend time with our families and we thank you father that they have a, such a time as this that they can come to know you and make you lord of their lives and have a different perspective even though and I thank you father for giving me favor with Louise and I pray lord God that many more months she will live and, and not die, but experience the good things of the Lord. Bless her. And I thank you, Father, for your word tonight to us. I thank you 
that we will be healed, that peace, peace, you said it again and again. And I thank you that fear not, says the Lord, we will not tremble at, at his presence, at my presence, which I've placed in the sand for the bond of the sea by a perpetual decree that it can't pass. And the waves toss. And we just thank you for the timing and the word for us, Lord God, for right now, Father God. Thank you for verse 20. Verse 4 says, my bowels, my bow bowels unpained. I can't hold my peace. The sound of the trumpet, the alarm. So he comes to a point where there's pressure. And don't we all do that? We come to a point where there's pressure. And then finally he releases. He gets up and he goes the way he looks. And behold, and lo, the fruitful place was a wilderness, and all the cities were broken down at the presence of the Lord and by his fierce anger. And so he's going to minister the word. He's going to minister like we do in prayer and in worship, that we pray for the right place, the right position that we have so we can pray and worship. Thank you, Father, for Judas, you know, changing him and touching him and moving him about for God in your timing in your kingdom, in your pleasure, Lord. We thank you. We thank you for your word. We thank you for the sun, moon, and stars and 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 the beautiful things shining bright so we can sleep in your presence. We can find things we need to find. We can just be blessed. Thank you for my daughter being here and, and my son and my husband and I and that you're helping us to listen to your voice and do what you show us to do. As far as everything we need, Lord God, we thank you, Father, for blessing us. We thank you for uniting us. We thank you for keeping Summer and Jonathan together. We thank you, Father, for blessing Angel and strengthening her. And we bless you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Father. So thank you for coming tonight. was day, um, like I said, it was day 221. And remember, your words are your way to victory. I'll see you next time on Fortunate.